Hello and welcome to the glorious Custard Factory here in Birmingham. I'm Rosie Wells and this is the first in the brand new series of biz to biz TV. and welcome to biz to biz TV. biz to biz TV is designed for companies just like you, companies who want to get the word out about the products and services that they provide. biz to biz TV airs every two weeks and it's also available on demand, so you never have to miss out on that business news, information and any other business videos that you need to see. So you can see that biz to biz TV will help you level out the playing field when it comes to promoting your company and what you do. You don't have to be a big company to feature on the show, you just have to think like one. Today's show is talking about engineering and we've been down to Sussex to meet a company called Yardine Engineering, so let's go and see what it is that they do. Yardine Engineering was originally formed in approximately 1976 uh, with the prime objective to supply heating at that point, uh, it was gas points heating for the railway industry. That was later um, expanded into supplying emergency equipment, i.e. magnets and um, TSR lights for um, purely for emergency situations on the track. We now supply several products, uh, not least of which are the TSR equipment being the magnets, both yellow and green. Uh, green being a higher strength magnet for the south because um, they're running a third rail. Um, we also supply gauging equipment and we supply uh, equipment for the autumn leaf programs that uh, Network Rail have instituted uh, to combat the leaf fall on the rails and stopping the trains running. We design our own products. Um, we have our, uh, an in-house design team. Um, these are normally uh, put through uh, from the design stage uh, to um, a prototype stage and will then go into production once the prototype has proved efficient. Um, we have in the past solved problems where Network Rail have come to us and said we have this problem, what's the best way around it? Um, they had this problem with leaf falling um, and they found that trains were uh, in, normally in short stretches were faltering and they came to us and said could we find a solution uh, to, to solve this problem for them of which we designed the RQ and it was suitably tested. It was done on the basis that it was a small piece of equipment that could be carried around by an individual engineer. So if there was a call out at 3am, 4am, 5am in the morning, all he had to do was jump in his car, take off and he had the equipment to solve the problem with him. We, we work for all the main um, main companies that, that work with the Network Rail, the likes of Balfour BT, people like Specialised Tools, Torrent Trackside. Our products are mainly designed for the UK industry. Uh, we have had um, several inquiries from France um, and in the early days we did produce products for France but that was mainly in the heating the points heating system. Being that we are actually based, uh, uh, not based, but our business is mainly based around the railway industry, we don't really want to move too far outside of it because we feel there's still lots of opportunities within that. I think it's very easy to sit back in an organisation like ours and think that the only people that really are really interested in the products and services that we provide are 
old time engineers within our industry that know exactly uh, what they want and what they're looking for. We're looking to rebrand so that we become more user friendly with people looking to, to evaluate our product and perhaps buy it. So at the moment we have um, a, an organisation who are working hard to revamp our website and produce a new brochure for us. We are looking at streamlining through being more efficient with outsourcing some of the more difficult pieces that we manufacture. So by now you've probably got a pretty good idea about how biz to biz tv can help you. Whether it's a shorter piece, whether it's a longer item, we can help promote your business wares to companies all over the world. And to prove a point, we've got two clients in the United States with some great infomercials that really show off what their companies do. Take it away. Framed art and mirrors come in many different shapes and sizes. But how do you protect these frames when shipping to your customers? Quick Corner Inc. has a complete line of automated equipment designed to attach shipping corners to your frames. The Quick Corner machines are the only patented method of folding and attaching corners to frames. Even new operators can run this equipment with great results. This standard machine will run a complete frame in less than 15 seconds. Quick Corner Inc. also offers this tandem machine to install two corners at a time, doubling your frame output. The tandem machine easily adjusts to different size frames. The Quick Corner Ink V-Wedge machine lets you install corners on a non-square profile molding. All of the Quick Corner machines are easy to reload without the aid of tools. Refilling any Quick Corner machine is simple, quick, and safe. To save time, you can load up to 250 corners at once. Quick Corner Machines use a top-loading pneumatic staple gun for easy reloading. The Quick Corner Glue and Fold Machine is a big hit with high production framers. This machine folds and glues the corners for easy slip-on installation. The glue and fold machine is easy and fast to adjust. Quick Corner also produces a line of pre-folded glued corners. These come boxed for easy shipping and storage. Quick Corner Inc., the only patented solution to all your cornering needs. Sometimes it's necessary to put road signs or information signs in the most hard to reach places. Working with a post hole digger usually means additional cleanup work, but the main problem in industrial areas is possible damage to pipework or concealed cables. Just Holes makes use of the Steed Digger to dig precise holes in 3, 4, 6, and 8 inch diameters. The Steed is ideal for use in tight spaces like these, as it makes no mess. 
the Steed's operator can actually feel cables or obstructions in the hole, reducing the risk of damage. Even areas with sunken pipes or irrigation tubes are safe as the Steed cleverly works around them. Remember, Just Holes specializes in digging holes for signposts, trees, and fences. This means if you need wider holes, then we can handle it. The Steed's innovative 8-inch diameter cutting head is fast and easily handles holes 24 inches deep. Just Holes. We dig it. And we know you will, too. Steve Parcells is a master at engineering. You know, he, he invented the quick corner machine, which is a true piece of artwork, really. Um, absolutely genius. And when we saw his workshop, it's this inventor's paradise and lots of things that are under wraps. But he was talking about this huge 4x4, four four, which he just described as his toy. Now, there are many different types of engineering, and our next item comes from a Swiss pharmaceutical company called The Deck Group. Now, just last week, I was talking with Hewitt Richardson, who's one of the deck engineers, and he's also director of containment and micronizing. Now, here's an interesting point. Here at the custard factory, back in the 1980s, if they'd have used the technology that the deck group specializes in, they would never have been that great big explosion. Just saying. I'm about to speak to Hewitt from deck to find out a little bit more about his company. Hi, Hewitt, how are you doing? Um, so tell us a little bit more about DEC. Oh, hi, Rosie, uh, I hope you're well. Um, DEC is a family-owned company um, based in Switzerland, or the headquarters is based in Switzerland, um, just outside Lucerne. Um, it was established in around about 1987 by Eves and Frederick Dietrich. Um, essentially, the company based, uh, generates most of its work through the pharmaceutical industry um, and the chemical industry, producing process equipment for that industry. What sort of products do you, do you supply at the moment as well, uh, Ewitt? The key process that we supply is the powder transfer system. That was really the cornerstone of the business that um, Eves and Frederick started. Um, it's now, in the industry, it's known as the PTS. Um, it does what it says, it transfers powder. The benefit of the system is that it, it transfers powder very, very safely and uses what's called dense phase processing. That means that you cannot generate an explosion. That's the biggest benefit. It's really designed to transfer any powder from either things like big bag stations, uh, into vessels, into anything that essentially um, needs moving from one process to another process. We also get involved in obviously powder filling processes. Um, that would include things like the drum containment system, um, obviously, as it said, for containing drums with toxic products and moving products from one station to another station. Um, we get involved in powder emptying systems where we would use our feeders, powder feeding systems. Um, they would include things like the powder flex, transbatch, um, and the PTS feeder. That would give a much more accurate feed into um, a, any particular process. Um, within that group, we are bit by bit developing our own uh, micro dosing products. Um, there will be a new range of microdosing equipment coming out. Following on from the PTS systems, we have uh, really quite a, a game-changing system called the batch mixer. The batch mixer itself um, has huge benefits. It's very much a new technology within blending of powders. We can do very, very small um, turnover products, so we can put less than 1.1% of product 
into a bulk and get a very, very good distributive mix. It was developed by both DEC and uh, one of the leading institutes in Switzerland, so it's been validated on chemical processes and pharmaceutical processes. Um, the added benefit is obviously it can be made sterile and can handle both sterile and toxic products, which is something that's quite unique. Um, it doesn't need turning, unlike old technologies, the powder gets turned. Um, maybe we'll talk about this uh, in a later programme. We also in the group have micronizing processes, which really we work in less than five microns because we're really looking at the high quality processes, though we do do some um, lower quality processes um, around the cosmetic industry where we're looking at maybe a slightly larger particle size. We have machines that go down to R&D development, which would be the MC1, up to clinical trials scale systems, which would be maybe the MC50, and then following on to that, the full, uh, full scale processes, which would include up to the MC300s and 400 machines, which are processing up to 100 kilograms an hour, uh, an hour, maybe more depending on the product. And what sort of products are you supplying right now? Within the group now, we also do containment systems. And these systems range from what now will be classed as the standard type system, which would be the ISO charge for charging um, bags of powder into vessels, um, toxic powder that is, and through to the ISO tube, another small standard system for handling drums, right through to the ISO dryer, which is used to load product from um, filter dryers. It's quite a specialist piece of equipment, but nonetheless very important in that area of the industry. Following on from that, we do have, um, I wouldn't call it a range, but the ability to manage much, much larger projects, and these can be several million euros, where we are talking about having major multi-stage processes which can be contained and, and maybe not contained depending on the process. Um, these can include anything from dispenser, multiple dispensing systems through to multiple processing systems. You're looking for a way to reduce paper waste and expand your marketing reach. You're looking for a way to keep your sales force on message and up to date. You're looking for a way to make selling your products so simple they almost sell themselves. You're looking for ICON the revolutionary cloud-based sales information system from Governor Media. For exhibitions, sales, and seamless brand recognition, documents on the ICON system are available instantly for exhibitions and representatives. Intelligent Marketing, Governor Media. This is you, and you have this really cool and awesome web application that you want to share with the rest of the world. So you create a website, which kind of acts like a bridge between you and the whole world. It helps you connect with people, so they can learn about your application, stay updated, give you feedback, help you earn money, and so on. You can see how important your web app is, and if it has any security bugs, it gives bad guys a perfect opportunity to destroy it in every possible way. And when they do it, you'll no longer be connected. People won't know about what's going on. Your income will suffer and all your hard work will go down the drain. So you want to search your website for any bugs and fix them before disaster strikes. Since not all of us have a personal virtual assistant to do our work, we hire someone who can do it for us. The bigger your site is, the more people will be required to do the job, which means more money and time. And in the end, you might end up broke. Wouldn't it be great if you could achieve all that work without losing money? Well, now you can with the help of Nprobe. And this is how it works. You go to the website, register, Enter a couple of details about your site, 
and start. No matter how big your web app is, it will find all the loopholes. You no longer have to worry about hiring others and save 15 times the money that's usually required for manual testing. Think about all the stuff you can do by saving that much time and money. And the beauty is that you can do it yourself, at any place and any time. So what are you waiting for? Head over to our website and start using Enprobe today. Now the first infomercial you saw in that block was from a brand new sales and marketing platform called Icon. Um, I met with Mark Todd, one of Icon's originators, to find out exactly what it is that this brand new touchscreen format does. So, as promised, here is Mark Todd, and he's going to be explaining a little bit about this brilliant new sales and marketing platform, Icon. Um, thanks for joining us, Mark. Pleasure. Um, so, tell us a little bit about this. It's a very sort of high-tech piece of kit. Is it easy to use? It you? is. Um, we, we designed um, Icon for people who wanted to carry with them a lot of what would be paper information. Mm -hmm. um, and so, we've done a lot of, spent a lot of time in the background trying to make a very difficult concept into something very, very simple, just touch screen. So if you want it, you use your finger, you touch it, and there it is. And it's all there, bang. Mm -hmm. so, so who's going to be using this information? If I just um, show, here, because it's very, I've been having a little play, I've been Good. drawing pictures and stuff. <laughs> You've even got a whiteboard on here, which is it's, brilliant. It's a silly why thing. Is, yeah, why is that um, we, we talked to a lot of people about exhibitions. Mm -hmm. um, people were very keen to have a lot of exhibition information with them at all times. Mm -hmm. and. You've done exhibitions, you know what it's like, you turn up, you've got boxes and boxes of, of all sorts of things. Yeah. And if you run out of those things, you effectively have lost the ability to say to someone, here's a flyer about this particular item. Oh, yeah. So we talked with some people and they said, well, there are certain things that we'd love at an exhibition. Mm -hmm. uh, the ability to have a conversation with somebody and, and draw. There you go. So, and then, it's that's right. why I want my house to look like. <laughs> I want, house. <laughs> I want this house. <laughs> and you, but I mean, obviously something more... You know that that would work. And you, could, I mean, and you just share it. You just drag that picture down, you just ask the machine to share it, and you touch screen basically sends it mm -hmm. through our servers, and it sends it to whoever you want. We've spoken to engineers who sit down together, maybe mm. only see each other you know, once every two years at an exhibition. Yeah. They'll sketch out ideas uh, on the back of a cigarette packet or napkin, <laughs> and then it's who's got the cigarette packet. Yeah, you know? and it's been cleared away. It's been cleared away. Oh, the that was it. That was you know. That, that was the brain. Anti gravity boots. Yeah. <laughs> so the idea with this is that you can actually just quickly share it with all of you, so you've all got a copy of that. Oh, fantastic. Plus, it time and date stamps it for mm. you, so you know when you've come up with that idea. And you know which ones are the most up to date, I suppose. If it's that's it. So as they evolve, you've kind of got that that most. And, and it's a recent with, thing. With companies that um, maybe they have uh, standards, standards and practices that they have to keep updating, mm -hmm. um, having your information on here, because all of the information is centralised, um, with only one administrator looking after all of that information, right. there's never a possibility that someone over there in that country and someone over there in that country will have different information because all it's of the all there. it's all centralized all together so one of the companies that we spoke to uh, they had people in Italy and they had people in Germany and mm. they also had people in the states they had to keep sending out information and you're having to sift through all of those emails to find are you using version 6 is it version yeah. 5 got you so this is and so this is just instant and it's right there for everybody to use so what kind of companies are going to be interested in this who would it be useful for a lot of sales and marketing companies are interested mm -hmm. Um, we've talked to estate agents. I should say that the tablet is only part of the system. Right, yeah, I was um, going to say, can you use it on a PC at home? Can you use it? Any um, touch screen. Any touch basically. screen at all. So, um, for, for instance, estate agents, mm -hmm. uh, they have items in their window and you can go up and you just touch the one you want uh -huh. and you can, see, you can see pictures of it, you can see a video of it, right. uh, full HD video. And if you like that, all you have to do is just drag it onto the little bar at the bottom and send it home. So that you've got all of that information at home. 
Oh, that's brilliant. So you can share it with, with every sort of digital device you have, as yes, it were. You can, much. It's all there in one, in one place. As with every transaction that goes on, every digital transaction on the, the, the icon system, mm. it's all recorded on the back end. Oh, so you've got their details yeah. and you, you know who's been looking, who's been interested. and yeah. you know it's, it's, nothing, it's nothing covert. I mean, yeah. what, what the system asks for is if there's a particular item that you want. So mm. let's say there's a video that you, you like. Uh, or there's a, a, a you know a PDF on there that you'd like to take away with you. Right. Um, you just drag it into the bar at the bottom. You type in your details, and all we all the system asks for is just an email address and your name, just oh, for okay. courtesy. Yeah. Um, so you know you'll get something back that will say these are the documents you requested, Mark, from the Icon system. Mm. And then you'll have a link in there. You click on that, and you've got access to that information. And because yeah. that's recorded on the system, it allows the company that you've taken the information from to know what you're looking at. Right, and they can tailor, they can tailor everything else towards that person. And so it's the brochure that you want, it's not a brochure mm. you were given, and that's the big difference that we were looking yeah. at. Um, not something that you were given, here, have that. <laughs> it's, some, it's somebody it. walking up to you and saying, I, I would like this, please give me that. Yeah. So there is an interest. You there. know that that interest is absolutely there. So what about um, sort of sensitive information, if you've got, I mean, Companies that are evolving all the time, they've got terrific ideas, they don't want other people nicking those ideas. Um, and we've got two layers of security for that. So your first is your sort of, you know, nice and easy security, which is, a gentleman called us up and he said, hi, I've lost a tablet. Mm -hmm. And we shut it down. You so can actually shut the tablet down? From... We, can, we can shut the tablet down. Oh. So that if, if you switch icon on, and you want to have a look at any of the information that's on there, mm. You can't, because it says you need to talk to your administrator. So that's just a simple level of stuff. So right. any information you've got in there. Um, we have said to people, it's not necessarily um, sensitive information, as in you know, official secret stuff, mm. but maybe stuff that you wouldn't want another company to know about. Right, so if you've got a brand new idea, brand and new idea. your competitors sort of yeah. want to get hold of it, then... Yeah, then it's, it's that sort of thing. Because it is a sales and marketing platform, yeah, so you generally put stuff on there that you want people to see. But the, the second level is our, is our sort of secret <laughs> thing, which <laughs> it always makes me smile because we call it the kill switch. Right. And we've <laughs> oh, that sounds serious, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. When you switch the tablet on, mm. it says, do you have a code to do this? And you say no, and it will actually just kill the tablet. Just, yeah, just tear down completely. So although you've lost the information on that tablet, it's not lost because you've still, still got a central list. Ah, so brilliant. You, you know, you may have lost the tablet if someone's stolen it, mm -hmm. but you can always, you've usually got that insured if you're using it all the time. Yeah, of course. So, but you've got all, but the important thing, I suppose, you've got all that information, it's there, it's, mm -hmm. it's protected, and it's in that central place. That's brilliant. Um, so, I mean, it's obviously a fantastic tool, and I mean, in your opinion, I mean, every business out there, obviously, you'd love to see them use an icon. What, why do they need it? Whether you're a biz, big business, small business, why do people need this tool? If, if a company wants to reduce the amount of paper they're using, mm -hmm. if they want to make it easier for their sales staff to keep on message and to have all of the relevant information at their fingertips, that's what Icon's useful for. And that counts for if you're a company that has a lot of different sales staff in different countries. Yeah. Very easy to have one administrator put all of that information in one place mm -hmm. and make it available to to everybody. everybody. Everywhere. That's brilliant. So it's a biz to biz link as well. It's a biz to biz link. all over the world. It's <laughs> wonderful. And on that note, thank you so much for coming to talk to us. It's been a pleasure to have you here with us. Um, and if you want to know any more information about ICON um, or Governor Media, then you can find all of the details as always on biz to biz tv.com. See you soon. Well, that's it for this week's show, but it's not your last chance to see it. If you come back to biz to biz tv website in the next two weeks, you'll find this show on the last show page of our website. After that, the show will go into our archives for you to watch on demand at any time in the future. And if you missed any of the details about the companies and products seen on the show, you'll also be able to download a fact sheet featuring names, contact details and web links. And that just leaves me to say a great big thank you for watching biz to biz TV. So from me, Rosie Wells, have a profitable two weeks and we'll see you soon on Biz2Biz TV.